Avengers Endgame's massive battle accidentally featured two co-obsidians. This is coming from CBR.com. That's CBR.com. CBR.com. An article by Samuel Gelman. This is on September the 11th, 2019. United Comics Universe. A universe for fans. From pages to pictures. We, we are, are comics. comics. Please note. Hydra have been unsubscribing UCU family members. These are some of the reports that I have been receiving from the United Comic Universe family members. So please check to see if you are still subscribed to the channel. Also share our videos to others so they can see how awesome and different our channel is. Also like up. Each like up is a morale boost to all that is in the fight to take down Hydra. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified on the upcoming comic news. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for joining us. Please tap that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the fight to take down Hydra. Jonin Show here. Hello, everyone. And an honor and pleasure to serve you once again. The United Comics Universe. You see you family members. Found this article on CBR.com, as you see. Um... From what I can tell so far, I think they may be wrong because it doesn't sound like it makes any sense to me, but I'll let you know how I feel about it at the end. Until then, let's get into this. Based on the massive scale of the final battle for Avengers Endgame, it's quite an accomplishment that it runs as smoothly as it does. However, one eagle-eyed fan found a small mistake that got lost in all the action until now. As pointed out by a user on Reddit, there are two Cull Obsidians in the film's climatic battle. Fun little detail. Cap hits Cull Obsidian with the hammer at the start of the battle. The user writes, The camera continues to pan through the battle until we see Cull Obsidian again further away from where he was, tussling with Korg and Drax. Mistakes happen. And with a fight as large as this one, it's not entirely surprising this fell through the cracks. Still, the small error hardly distracts from the battle, which continues to flow smoothly from that point onward. Directed by Joe and Anthony Russo, Avengers Endgame stars Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man, Chris Evans as Captain America, Mark Ruffalo as Bruce Banner, Chris Hemsworth as Thor, Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow, Jeremy Renner as Hawkeye, Brie Larson as Captain Marvel, Paul Rudd as Ant-Man, Don Chadle as War Machine, Karen Gilliam as Nebula, Denai Gurira as Okoye, and Bradley Cooper as Rocket, with Gwyneth Paltrow Pepper Potts, John Favreau as Happy Hogan, Benedict Wong as Wong, Tessa Thompson as Valkyrie and Josh Brolin as Thanos. The film is now available in digital HD, Blu-ray, 4K UHD in case you didn't know, but it's definitely available, it's definitely there. Okay, Jonah Show's opinion. I looked at the video and as far as I can tell, I think they just overlooked things. I think they might have been a little pumped up, a little excited <laughs> at the time that they thought they found something and uh, it might have went a little buck wild with it. But I watched the video three times and then I asked my uh, wife to take a look at it. Y'all know her. That's the Mama Nin. And um, she pretty much came up with the same thing I came up with. That uh, it wasn't making any sense. Okay, what they're talking about is when you watch the video at the end, you see the camera showing uh, Captain America pointing out the part that they're speaking of. You, so, you see Captain America hitting Cull Obsidian with the hammer and knocking him back. The, pan, the camera pans forward. You see more of the battle, right? And I think this might be where they get lost because at some point you see Drax running across the screen toward the left to jump on Cull Obsidian's back and stab him many, many, many times like the psycho that he is in his neck back. You know where the neck and back meets? His neck back. Yeah, so he's definitely trying to kill him. But point is, 
what they didn't pay attention to is before you see that scene where Drax runs up and stabs him in the back, the camera pans back right next to where Cull Obsidian had fallen, where he was knocked down. So, Cull Obsidian, as far as we know, he was not killed by Cap when he hit him with the hammer, so he's alive, so you think he's just gonna sit there? No, he's not, he moves around, and besides that, this guy, you see how high he actually jumps? It's insane, it wouldn't be no problem for him to, as the camera passed, jump up in the air behind the camera where you can't see off panel, and that pretty much is how it happened. So, watch for when you see Captain America hitting Cull Obsidian, the camera moves forward, then uh, at some point you see Atman punch a thing, and then the camera goes back. It goes slightly back. And then you see Drax running up to attack Cull Obsidian in the back. You might need to watch it a couple times so you can see the flow of the camera because you might be distracted by how awesome the battle is. But uh, don't get distracted. Keep your eye on the prize and you will see for yourself. So because of that, I cannot agree with this user on Reddit, whoever they may be, that uh, posted this. And um, this article, again, is on CBR.com. They have the clip there for you to look at. And, uh, yeah, I can't agree with that because, to me, it clearly looks like <laughs> they pass the area where Cap, you know, hits him. And then he goes forward. And then you see Ant-Man as he's going back, back, back to the same area where he was knocked down at just about. And then you see Drax running up and stabbing him in the back. It makes perfect sense to me. This was not a mistake as far as I can tell. But that's my opinion. <laughs> what do you think? Please let us know down below. Do you see what they mean? Or do you agree with me? Do you think my opinion may be right? Because it's all our opinions and we're all fans here. So, you know, sometimes we get things right and sometimes we get them wrong. But at least we have something so awesome, material so great, that we're so intrigued and interested in it that we actually pick it apart to this degree. And even picking it apart, you know what? We still love it, <laughs> even with the flaws. That's how you know this is a great, 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 great franchise, great, 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 great company with phenomenal talent and well-directed. By the way, I heard uh, the Russo brothers will be directing X-Men. Sounds pretty amazing. We shall see. At least we know it's in good hands. And you know how Shonen Show is definitely an X-Men fan. Especially Wolverine. But then who doesn't love Wolverine? And if you have not been blessed to see Logan, I highly suggest you see Logan. Because to me, that's Wolverine at his best. I thought it was really great. Really great. I think it should have won something. Maybe it did win something. I don't know. I think it should have won more. How about that? Again... This is Jonin Show, United Comics Universe. Please, everyone, hit that subscribe button, that like up button, and please hit that notifications button so you can get notified for your channel, at United Comics Universe, where we do it different. We do it better, in my opinion. We do it freestyle. We do it live. We do it from the heart. We do it for the fans. And for the love of comics. Because everybody here at UCU that is serving you loves comics in any way and any form. Thank you again for coming out to the United Comics Universe. The universe for fans. And always remember, we are comics united comic universe store is now open where you can get awesome gear from leggings to hoodies when you feel a little cold at night and the fireplace is just not working for you drink some of your delicious hot chocolate in your ucu mug drink it up that's what i do <laughs> oh wait when your feet is feeling a little cold at night put on your united comic universe socks to get the warmness only the united comic universe socks can give you are you ready to gear up and take on Hydra? 
well. The links is down below. Hit those links to gain access to all the awesome gear where you can join the fight to help take down Hydra. This has been United Common Universe. Remember, we are comics. So, you like the video? Duh! That is why they're here, because they like the video. <laughs> awesome! So you subscribe, like, share, and don't forget to hit that notification bell, and also leave a comment down below. Also click one, or two, or three, or one of these playlists is going to be put somewhere around here, so you'll see them, <laughs> to get more comic news. This has been another awesome video brought to you by United Comic Universe. Remember, we are comics.